Shall I bring, sir, the wine list? Uh, yes, OK. Pleasure. The body was found in the East End of London, but the Hanoi handshake is the unmistakable calling card of a Vietnamese gang killing. According to one unnamed police source, downtown Hackney, also known as Little Vietnam, is now a bloody jungle of organized crime. The missing fingers have yet to be found. Under the table already. It's not even 12 o'clock. No, I... Uh... I'm sorry. I'm afraid I only have an hour. I've got to go and meet Ragsy Lawrence. Remember Ragsy? The dancing dyke? She's just been made commissioning editor at the BBC. Can you believe it? Never underestimate a hunchback. That's what I say. Darling, are you going to stay there all through lunch? No, I'm sorry. Any. It's good timing for us, because I can tell her how busy you are with all your murders. Well, yeah, up to my elbows. Good. Do you have a title? Uh, decades of Death. Chilling. Yeah, well, if you want murder, then Victorian Britain is the golden age. I think murder's lost its sense of theatre, really. I mean, you know, what do we have now? It's just, like, kids... Mindless violence? Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, killers don't put any thought into their murders anymore. Take Long Ear, for example. You heard of Long Ear? Can't say I have, no. Terrifying Polish plumber who hacked off a Frenchman's head. He disposed of the limbs down the sewer, but he couldn't think of what to do with the head. So, eventually, he utilised his gas-fired crucible, filled the nose and mouth with molten lead, slung the whole thing in the river. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. This is a non-smoking restaurant. Thank you. Are you ready to order, madame? Do you know what you're having? Um, I think I'll just have a beer. I'm not very hungry. One beer. This is my treat, darling. Oh, uh, well, then I will have the chicory salad with asparagus croutons, chorizo and poached egg. To start, followed by the salmon and leek fish cake with mushy peas, chips and chive cream. Thank you. Lovely. You see, why people love a good murder... I began to tell Claire about my good friend, Professor Friedkin, author of an influential paper on the criminal stare, an ocular condition that instantly identified a madman. Monsieur... 